new videos every day. Before we get started, I have a question for you. What do you think man's natural diet should be? In other words, as humans, what do you think our diet should naturally consist of? Do you think that we are uh, carnivores? Do you think that we are supposed to be vegetarians? Or do you think that we are supposed to be omnivores eating plants and meats? So leave your comment, let me know, uh, pause the video, think about it, let me know, and then restart the video. Now the reason why we're doing this video is because I recently did a video on a healthy hamburger and I got a lot of vegetarians on there leaving comments and they were pissed off because I was showing how to make a hamburger with red meat. And so that has brought up, you know, the reasoning behind doing this video. Um, a lot of vegetarians think that <clears throat> we are naturally supposed to have a vegetarian diet. You know, in other words, herbivore, we're supposed to eat only plants. Um, and that would be the strict vegetarians, the vegans. Um, some vegetarians believe that you can have some animal products in your diet. So we have that, and then we have something like the Atkins diet, which is the ex other extreme, um, which is almost all, you know, carnivore type diet, all meats and animal products. Um, so there's this big spectrum of what people think that they should be eating, and that's what we were talking about today. We're not really talking about the ethical reasons why someone would be a vegetarian, or the moral reasons, or the religious beliefs behind being a vegetarian, or, or even actually the health reasons behind being a vegetarian. Um, those things can be discussed in another video, but today we are just looking at what man has eaten in a natural diet, you know, way back in primitive years, what was our natural diet? And, um, you know, and you can leave your comments if you have, uh, you know, any religious ideas behind being vegetarian or if you, you know, have moral beliefs behind being vegetarian, that's fine. You can leave your comments. But the point of the video is not to discuss that. Um, I understand if you have chosen to be vegetarian for those reasons. But today's video is just to look at what the natural diet of the human, you know, of our species has been and is. If you were to just look at current times and just to look at the present diet, only about 3 to 4% of, um, you know, of all societies, of all countries, cultures of all countries are vegetarian and even a smaller portion than that about one and a half percent are vegan which is strict adherence to only plant um, based foods and no animal products and no animals whatsoever so about 97 percent of the entire population of the world is currently omnivore which is the combination of plant foods and animal foods so the fact is that the current diet of, you know, of this world right now is omnivore. So that's not debatable. That's just a fact of our present diet in the world. And so now we're going to be talking about what actually the diets have looked like in the past. Now, if you're a historian or religious scholar, you know that uh, scriptures such as the Bible talks about people eating lamb, meats, animal products. So those types of things are present. You know, people have been omnivores in biblical times. And then if you look at Hindu scripture, which some historians believe dates back to 2500 BC, um, in their scripture they talk about not being meat eaters. Now, if it mentions not being meat eaters in their religious scripture, it sounds like to me that obviously there were meat eaters in that time in order for them to say that it wasn't, you know, allowed or wasn't recommended according to their religious beliefs. So as far back as we have, you know, scripture, history, as long as it's been recorded, 
we have people that were omnivores. Now, we are actually going to go even further back than that, further back from even the recorded history that we have. I have an article here written by Dr. John McArdle, and he is a vegetarian, and he's also a PhD, and he's currently a scientific advisor to the American Anti- vivisection society. He's also an anatomist and a primatologist. So in other words, he's a vegetarian, he studies anatomy, and he's also studied apes. Um, and so he has written this article and the title of the article is Humans Are Omnivores. I'm going to read you the introduction of this article. It's, he says, there are a number of popular myths about vegetarianism that have no scientific basis in fact. One of these myths is that man is naturally a vegetarian because our bodies resemble plant eaters, not carnivores. In fact, we are omnivores, capable of either eating meat or plant foods. And the following addresses the unscientific theory of man being only a plant eater. One point that the doctor mentions is about fermenting vats. Okay, now what these are, are um, basically they are additional stomachs that herbivore animals have. So herbivore animals would be animals that only eat plants. Okay, so this would be like the cow. So you've maybe heard that a cow has four stomachs. Now these fermenting vats are basically separate stomachs where these plant foods can hang out and the microbes and bacteria can attack it and start to digest it and break it down. Well, humans don't have more than one stomach. We don't have an area for plant foods to sit and to ferment and for bacteria to, um, you know, begin to break it down. I mean, a little bit of that goes on in our small and large intestine, but it's not near the capacity and we don't have additional stomachs like herbivore animals have. What Dr. McArdle talks about in his report is that humans are opportunistic feeders. In other words, we can eat what is available, whether it be plants or whether it be meats or meat products. Um, our, our anatomy and our digestive system is very generalized. So compared to other animals, some animals have such specific digestive systems and such specific anatomy that they can only have like one kind of plant. For example, the panda bear uh, can only have a very limited diet, like one type of plant. And if they don't get that, then they're not going to be healthy animals. But with humans, our digestive system is so general that we are really able to take advantage of whatever food is available. Now, if you were to look at DNA, our human DNA is actually the most similar to the DNA in pigs and chimpanzees. And guess what? Pigs and chimpanzees are both omnivores. They eat both plants and animals and animal products, and they're opportunistic, so they eat whatever's available, whether it be plants or whether it be animals and animal products. Now, I just want to mention two more points that are mentioned in the article, and I'm also going to put a link to this article in the video description, so you can access the article, you can read it for yourself. Um, but let me just read you uh, something that he writes in here. He says, as far back as it can be traced, clearly the archaeological record indicates an omnivorous diet for humans that included meat. Our ancestry is among the hunter and gatherers from the beginning. Once domestication of food sources began, it included both animals and plants. And then his conclusion was that humans are classic examples of omnivores and all relevant anatomical traits. There is no basis in anatomy or physiology for the assumption that humans are pre-adapted to the vegetarian diet. For that reason, the best arguments in support of a meat-free diet remain ecological, ethical, and health concerns. So there you have it. Uh, the information about whether humans are supposed to be naturally omnivores or not. And, um, and feel free to leave your comments if you want to argue, you, you know, feel free. But really the point of this was not to discuss um, 
all the reasons why people are vegetarian because we actually will be doing more videos on vegetarianism, um, healthy diets for vegetarians, healthy foods that people need to incorporate if you're going to be vegetarian because we're getting a lot of requests for that so we definitely are going to be doing some future vegetarian videos. But leave your comments, rate the video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and I will see you next time, bye. Thank you.